Hey guys! If you are watching and read the title now as official down below, this is what I got for Christmas 2013. Um, a disclaimer, I'm not bragging in any sort of way. I've watched so many of these videos. I love to see what other people have gotten in their Christmas and stuff like that. If I sound out of breath, I'm sorry. I got a lot of stuff for Christmas. I'm really condensing it up for you guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy. So this is what I got for Christmas for 2013. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you, I'm gonna do my mom, or actually no, my grandma, and then I'm gonna get into my mom and friends and family and even students. I wanna show you guys what my students got me. So yes, yeah, so my grandma, besides um, getting me a little bit of money, a little bit of cash, she also got me this beautiful shirt. It's purple, I love purple, and it's like a layered top, and look at the design on that so sparkly and pretty and it goes to the right length so I feel like this is a fancy shirt I love it so much though and besides money and a card that is what she got me for grandma so I love it so okay much. now we're gonna start off with the co-workers secret sister I do it every month um, I have yet to film it for you guys but a secret sister for my job um, in the teachers category is that Every month we give our secret sister something of a gift just to help perk them up and stuff like that, which I love so much. So my secret sister, besides some C's candy, oh, love it so much, got me the movie, yes, Clockwork Orange. Oh, look at it. I love this movie. This is an instant cult classic. I can't really explain it to you guys. I'm sure that Clockwork Orange has a description somewhere on YouTube or Google. Not quite sure. But yes, Clockwork Orange. Oh my gosh. Love this movie so much. So I'm so super excited. She got it for me and also two C's candy. So what did my students give me? They got me a whole bunch of stuff ranging from gift cards. The little boy that I'm in charge of gave me a gift card. And my other little boy gave me like a little eatable cake thing in a mason jar. So cute. I kept the mason jar. I ate the cake, of course. So yummy. But some of my other students who are normal students, they got me some stuff that was equally cool. One of my students, this is handmade, mind you. It's a nice, warm, fuzzy scarf. You can see it's very soft, very thick, obviously. But he handmade this, or his mom did, you know, sewing machine. Simple, simple thing. It's so warm and wuzzly, and I love scarves. I am obsessed with scarves. So he got me this, or he made me this. And the next thing that he got for me, I'm so sad, it was like a little... Ant a little owl candlelight thing, but it broke. Um, long story, he dropped the present, and he, he was sad about it. I tried to fix it, you guys, but I couldn't, so I'm majorly bummed about that, but I did keep the little tea light. So, little tiny key, tea light. Mm, and it smells like trees, like wintergreen trees. So that's what this one student got me. Okay, guys, another student got me this. I thought it was so cute. She got me a little Yogurtland gift card, which I already used, but Inside of, I'm trying to see if I have it. Oh, bummer. Okay, but she gave me like a little tiny card and it said, Dear Miss Aurora or Dear Miss Amber, our Christmas wish for you is for less dishes to do. And it was such a cute little idea. She got me some Santa plates, some napkins. I've used some of them. She did gave me like little utensils that are in plastic wrapped up. And she also got me some cups. So I thought that was so cute, and the little poem that she wrote with it, oh my gosh. Her mom is a teacher over at my job site, and I think that was so cute. Our holiday wish to use for less dishes to do, so, so cute. So I love that so much. And the last thing that one of my students got for me, he got me this beautiful candle from Ashland. I'm not quite sure what this candle is. I'm not quite sure the company, but it's Happy Holidays. That's what the scent is, Happy Holidays. Ugh, haven't burnt it yet, obviously. Mmm, it smells like cinnamon apples. So I know you guys can't smell it, but imagine, smell. Ah, it smells so good. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. I'm obsessed with candles. I don't know if I'm gonna be burning this one quite yet, because I have a lot more candles to show you guys that I got from friends and family. Whew, so many candles to choose from. But yes, this is the last thing that my student got for me is a little Ashland candle, so I'm happy to try this baby out. 